It speaks volumes for the high-tech 35th America's Cup that a major issue for Emirates Team New Zealand was finding an expert in programmable logic controllers to help solve a problem in the operation of the pedal-powered hydraulic system on the radical Kiwi boat. And in the end, technical director Dan Bernasconi found him via social media in Hamilton. The hardware system that the boat's using is reasonably rare in New Zealand and the company I was working for, an automation company in Hamilton, um, was using it, so Dan found me on uh, LinkedIn. And at the time, the 29-year-old engineering graduate had plans, including a trekking trip through Nepal. So I actually didn't say yes straight away, because I was planning on going overseas, um, but then thought about it over the weekend and thought it was too good an opportunity to turn up. My father told me I was a bit stupid for not saying yes straight away, but... With his boating experience limited to fishing trips with his dad, it was a classic case of in at the deep end. I had no, no sailing background um, at all, so I didn't know what anyone was talking about for the, quite often uh, in the first few meetings. He's become a vital cog in the technical group on Chase One, shadowing the race boat on the water, checking the data and troubleshooting via their laptops. So I'm a, uh, an automation engineer basically, so it's programming um, the machine side of the boat, so the valves and um, all the inputs, so all the buttons that the guys are using and the, the joysticks and yeah, all the input from the sailors goes into my software then it spreads out to all the valves on the boat. And the sea legs gained on those fishing trips have been invaluable in warding off seasickness in his new working environment, which is such a change from a vast factory floor. It's very, very different from where I was. I go out on the water most, most days, which I wasn't doing at all, obviously. Um, but it's a lot, of, a lot of hours, a lot of pressure. And, um, yeah, but it's good though, it's rewarding. And he knows he is trying to help make history. It's really just the, the team, you know, all the guys, everyone works so hard, so it'd be really good to achieve that goal.